Alright, so yeah, you got a 6, a 2, and a 3. So, I mean, you'd be able to use that 2 to attack with Mike Cho if you want. You'd be able to use the any, er, yeah, the 3 to attack. Well, you could use any of them for Mike Cho to attack. The 3 and 6 you can use for him to attack or search. And for Mike mm -hmm. Cho to search, you need that 6. Now, crap. Your second card shows you what you can do with your actions. You can attack a zombie or a survivor if you really want to, but that generally doesn't really help. You can search for stuff, you can barricade, you can clean waste, which if we get tin waste, which is whenever we put food to eat, um, it, it goes into the waste pile. If we get tin of it, then we lose one morale because we're like walking in our own filth. So right. we have to make sure we keep that clean as well. Now, if you have any food in your cards, you're able to use those now if you want to either feed us or contribute to the thing that can kill you. <laughs> so, um... Wait, what thing can kill... Wait, I'm confused. Remember if we don't... At the end of Scott's turn, if we don't have this overpopulation thing solved, where we'd still need one yeah. more food, then the two non-exiled survivors at the lowest influence die, and you have yeah. the people with the two lowest influences. Yeah, I know. So... How many do we need left to put in this? In the... uh, it should be three, unless I'm a traitor. In which case, that could actually be negatives. So we... Okay, but how many So minimum, cards we, we, need need to put one, in there? we need one food minimum. And unless um, I'm a traitor, in which case there could be 40. And then for the our food supply, we also need three for that. To feed us. So if you have... Yeah, so if you have one for that, and then if you have extras, you can put it in our food supply. So when you pick food up... Say if you go here and you pick up food, can yeah. you put it down here instantly? Or? Yeah, you can play cards. Or anytime on your turn, you can just play okay. cards. Because it says do I need it's to... an action that does not require an action dice. What? Should, do, do, does it have to be face down to be in the if waste it's, pile? If it's something that's going into our food supply, you don't lie about that. So that would just be right side up. So it's... Boop. See. Okay. And then I will take one food token. Oops, I lost scrap out here. And put it in the bag. Yay. Now... Well, Any more food we got in there? We need two more to feed us, actually. So, right. But um. Hmm? So now, uh, I could choose to go to one of these places. Uh, yeah, you can send your survive both of them if you want, but you can send either to any location, and then for that you have to roll for exposure unless your car character says otherwise. Let's see. So why did you? I do not to do what. Oh, I see. Do you, you only get you get to roll the dice once. Oh wow! You I see why potentially... he has such low influence. His characters are cool. Yeah. Brad Miller he, can just so... go anywhere without rolling for yeah. influence, and Mike Cho um, can fight can stuff. Yeah, I just read that. So you roll the dice once. You can choose. As, you can move this person to one place, this person to another. Mm -hmm. they, they both have. To, they both have to share the die, do they? Uh, yes, they both share your three dice. I see. So okay. So the reason you only sent one is because you wanted to. Pick up a card, get yeah. rid of a barricade, and get rid of it. Correct. I'm trying to see which one is. Because there's one that looks like food, but it isn't food, or I don't know if it is. Plus, with okay. us having four more people back at the colony, I think her her special helps back here. Because it's once per round, you may remove any type of win token from a survivor in the shared location. I wondered if the second round was using the other character, but now I see. Okay. Mm hmm. So based on Ricardo's He's, role, better off sending said it because he can do actions with all of them. Yeah, well, because, I mean, Rod Miller would help. Although he can attack. Because yeah. he, Rod Miller could go straight to any of these locations and just start searching for crap without being attacked. Yeah, yeah. Um, he could actually just send both if he really wanted to. He could send Rod somewhere and search, and then he could send Mike Cho somewhere and have to worry about exposure, but then he could kill, if he's fine, then he could just kill a zombie without any problems. If he sent them both yeah. out as a double act to the same place. I'm well, I'm trying to think. You could do that too if you wanted, or you could just go to two different places. Do you think? Do you think it'd be smart to meet up with what's his face at the grocery store just to get food? Uh, not, not if you get bit. So, and also, do, right. now because you've searched once, if Ricardo put one per one person here and does a search, does he get noise? Or no, is he it does not. Only oh, so it's do, only one... only if you do multiple on your turn. One. Oh, okay. Okay. okay cool. Um. The school looks like it's got food, doesn't it? I know, yeah, that's uh, what I think this is. Is yes. this food? Cause yeah. It's food yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this, I guess food is the thing that pops up the most in the school as well. Because why, why does it look so different, though? Or like it has like, a little it's, more spot? It's, it's just dirty. 
just like this person's face is a little dirtier than this person's. Okay. The board is dirty. All right, let me. Uh, all right, so then I think Rod's gonna head over to that school. Bye, Rod. So have fun. All right, so he doesn't have to roll for exposure or anything. Put him up. Oh yeah. Nope. That one. Boop. And cool. now, if you want to use one of the cards for him or dice for him to roll, what's he need to? A three. Uh, he needs. So I would yeah, save that a... two for anything that you think would be beneficial, unless you want to move out Mike Cho or something. But other than that, you could use that two for anything I'd... like. I'd be suggesting you move Rod there, because it's, it's, yes, you have to roll this die, but you don't take any action points from moving in there, do you? You don't have to use one of these. Then Mike, um, the ninja can kill this person without rolling a die. The problem is if he gets bitten, though, then it's actually going to kill both of his people. Because on yeah. his way there, he would become infected. And then, then we'll need less to... food. <laughs> That's true. If they both died, then we'd only need two food in our, our per turn. I'm just trying to think. Um, so, what would you say about the two? Because the two is for is for Mike to attack. Is that what you're saving it for? Well, I was going to say, if you didn't want to have him attack, you could save it for one of, like, if you look, your actions that require dice, you could barricade something, or even, technically, I guess you could clean the waste if you wanted to. There's only one in there, but I guess it would stop it from getting any higher. But that's, I'd put a barricade before I worried about cleaning that. It's really up to you, though, what you want to do. But how do you know? How do you know what? So, oh, so it's any any action dice, regardless of the number that I can use for these? for the Yeah, like the barricade, clean waste, track zombies, any of that you yeah. can do. So it doesn't have to be a specific number? No, any, anything. And that's what the, helps with, oh, like, okay. if you roll crappy numbers and have strong people. Right, okay. Well, I think with, well, I think with Rod, I think I'll use the uh, a three to search. See, it's kind of like a thing of training. It's like... Mike Cho is good at fighting, so he only has to roll a two to fight. My guy's a soldier, so he only has to roll one to get a shot in. Some people are like, she's not as good with the gun, so you have to roll a four for her to actually hit her target. Yeah. So okay. yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll for the uh or I mean I'm gonna use that to uh, search for the thing. So just grab it. And okay. then Wait, which one did you use? The three? Uh the three. Okay. So you put that in your used pile over here. Yeah. Okay, it shot back know. at me for some what? reason. And then this would be. Oh, well, it does work. Um, and then I can. When can you use some of these cards? Like, when can you use them? Like, when they say um. Well, actions that do not require action dice. Playing a card, adding a card to the crisis, move a survivor, spend a food token, request, hand something off, or vote to exile. You can do any of those on your turn at any time. You can use your cards. So it has to be on your turn then? Correct. Okay. So, so if you have I'm something under... you want to equip to one of your characters, or if one of your characters has a boo-boo and you want to... Which you don't right now. But if that were the yeah, case, you could yeah. use a medicine or something. And Right. Um, And then... So I think, how would I, I can't remember, how did you get rid of that zombie before? Was it, uh, so you did you just kill him? Yeah, yeah you, so you use, use one your, of your, one of your dice that can hit him, so for you it would have to be your six. And then you have to roll one of these to see if, what damage is done to you, but then the zombie's automatically killed. Right. Yeah. Okay, um. Can you move back in the same turn? Uh, to the colony, yeah, you can do, you can move everywhere if you want, but you have to roll exposure. Oh, every really? Time you, every time you move. Oh wait, yeah, you do. Rod doesn't. Yeah, I say Rod's <laughs> fine. So I, Rod's coming back home. I was gonna say, wait, technically night. he can just keep going to all the places and looting them. Oh really? Yeah, I mean you only got one from well, one place. Got, okay, well, as long as so so action die to do it. So Rod, Rod came to say hi, and then now he's gonna go out head out again. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think he'll hit up the. Uh, I think you'll hit up the. Uh, let's see. Maybe the hospital. Yeah, hospitalized food. Cause, yeah. Because we still need enough to feed us as well. And hopefully Ricardo right. didn't betray us. Which, by the and way, now, if, you, if you suspect somebody of being a traitor, you can vote to exile them from the, the game. And that's um, not the just the characters, it's the whole player. <laughs> okay, so I, I think I'm going to use... Because if, if I would have searched again in the school, I would have... Or, yeah, I would have alerted uh, the thing. Um, so right. I think... 
what I'm going to do is use that six to uh, search this uh, hospital. And uh, so let's see what we, what we got here. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. And you still have. I'm putting your... this. I'm putting this in the crisis thing. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, you know, there's already three, potentially three, in there. That's why if one of them isn't, then you know. That's fine. <laughs> um. So the uh. Okay. So now the used die. Where does it go again? Or right. just right, right there. Here? In there. Yeah. The right so one is your. Two. And you have a two left. So if you want to just barricade something or. Um. And then if you well, also want your character to bail again, I guess technically speaking, he wouldn't have anything spawn on him. A zombie spawn there. Um. So what you could do is go back to, to the colony and put a barricade over here. We'll come down to the colony. Yeah, and every turn there's going to be zombies spawning in our colony. So it's really? It's worthwhile moving back and putting a barricade up in the colony. Right, right. Okay, well... And the way they spawn, by the way, it's numbered. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five... Oh, six, okay, seven. so an order of those. Yeah, and it's... Um, I got to see how many we're going to have because there's three players... Okay, well, Rod's coming back to the colony, and yeah, I'm, I'm going to put a barricade there, and then I'm going to use that two for that. So yeah. I put one of these on the... Whoa. The the Why bag. wasn't it locked? Out of the bag. The oh. Bag. Yeah, you just get them all out of the bag. Oh. All right, so let me put it here. Oh, I've wow. got a barricade there. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to try and not risk it and have, like, Mike stay near the colony just in case, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, you're 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 Being doing done. pretty all right with that setup. Now, see, the issue could have been say say he didn't have the ability to uh, move without exposure. If he came back to the colony and got bit, we could have had a crisis on our hands. Yeah, because it's at the colony. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we also have like five people here. Right. Okay. So yeah, that, that's that's it for my turn, right? So, so I roll the die. And Ricardo, you have to draw a crossroads card for him. So the first thing I guess I'm going to do is put a barricade down. Oh, because okay. she can put one down for free. Oh, right, right, okay. I'm unable to delete cards, so I'm just going to put it in the yellow person's spot. So if if, yeah, if, the they, don't re if they don't if they don't meet like that top requirement thing, then the rest of it just doesn't matter, right? Of the crossroads card? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Then I think what I'm going to do is send old Arthur out to the school, I would guess. <laughs> Back Once to work. Around performing is... a search at the school, you may look at it and keep one additional card. Awesome. I take it that means... You get two cards without, without doing listen. Yeah, making awesome. noise. Okay. Yeah, correct. I'm in the school. Okay. Okay. And now I've got to roll this, yeah? Okay. And this could one-shot me. Correct. Ooh, okay. You're fine. So, oh, man. Uh, so I pick up a free card, is yeah, that what so we're saying? Yeah, you get to draw two cards. But I have to, if I use one of these cards. Uh, once per round, when performing a search. Yeah, so you have to so use put, one dice to I search. I put one over here and I pick up two cards. Is that right? Correct. So I'm doing a search and I'm picking up an additional card on the... So can I equip things? I can equip things at any point in time. Correct. So I'm going to equip this to Arthur. I guess I just put it over here somewhere, do I? Uh, yeah, you can just put it under him if you want. Okay, so I'm just going to put that there. Which is, um, I can increase one die by one. Okay. So... So do you want to make that three or four so you can attack something? Or do you want to make that one at two so that... Well, I've got a bit of an issue. Is there just one in here? One food? We just got one food yes. I, I'm not getting any numbers show up, so... Um, so I'm going to put this in the waste pile. Okay. And put another one in there. And now we only need one more food. Mm-hmm. Perfect. It's, so if Ricardo did put four in the thing instead of feeding us, it's going to suck. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Which means I've got to search, I think. Are you going to search the same spot choice. again? or? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have a choice because I can't okay, move. Okay, so I'm going to put a listen on it. Well, I could move, but I'd have to throw a roll. Yeah, because now you get there. to at least roll or get two... Oh. Two cards. So I only get one this time, I think. Oh, do you? Does it say only once? Once, once per round, you can perform a search. So what was the deal with the food? Well, 
we have to eat as well, and we need three food for us. So where right now we have two food for us and four in the crisis. So if you actually did place an actual food on there, and we end up having four instead of three, then that would have been one extra food that could have went in the food and fed us. So we're going to start starving to death, in other words. Okay, so I've got two choices here. I can increase this dice by one, yep. which would give me enough to search again. Correct. I have no more food. Um, now, what happens? Starvation, I'm guessing, is not great. Correct. Now, the thing is, is because it worse we have than having one two noise, noise here, we're going to have a zombie spawn here next turn because you have somebody there. Yeah. If and we get a three, one. that'll be a third zombie. So, okay. or three or higher, I think. And then if, if you have another one, that could actually overrun the school immediately. Okay, so I can equip this to this lady, which is... Um, equip once per round during a turn you may build a barricade without spending an additional die if the survivor is at the colony. Okay, and um, she is in fact so I'm here. Gonna, I'm going to get her to build a, a barricade. <laughs> does it and say... And then I've got one. Does it say where she builds it? You may build a barricade without spending an action. Oh, die. okay. So you could actually build so it at the school if you wanted. I'm assuming, it has, I'm assuming it has to be at the colony. And then I've got one more to use, so I guess I could do that with him. Wait, how did we get the uh, other barricades at the colony? Um, Jordan did one and I've done two because she can build them for free. She can build, oh. essentially now she can build two for free. Um, so I've used my last oh, action die to build a barricade here. Okay, yep. And then if I want to move him back. You have to roll for exposure. I have again. to roll exposure. Yeah. Or you can try and move to another location and or you don't know where to search, do you? Never mind. And if he stays there and another zombie spawns... Unless it gets overrun, he's, he's safe still gonna, there. He's still going to move. Okay, that's what I'm doing then. I'm done, I think. Okay. I think. So, now for the moment of truth with these cards. Well, see, I thought I thought that the food, Actually, like, it was like, wasn't it like one for two people or something like that? Yeah, we got, we got four, six people. Mm-hmm. Six characters. Ricardo's oh, right. my pretty traitorous right now. No, look. So, see, it's in my mind, I was thinking, oh, wait, there's just three of us because three players. But <laughs> that's why I was. Okay. So we remove these two tokens. We've only got two? Yeah, out of three. Jesus. Is all we're eating is baked beans. Unfortunately, so. Yeah. Now. All those people in the camp. Because as we well. didn't get what we needed, we have to put a starvation token in there. Okay. It means we drop the morale by one. Ricardo. What? I'm going to check fault. the waste. We're good. There we have two. And I was now, just trying to be careful. Waste? What happens with the waste? If I was we, just trying to be careful. Get, nice to can it. we lose one morale? Okay. And if we run out of morale, we lose. But so, one action. One action is clean three cards. Okay. All right. Look, Here's I was trying to be careful, okay? Being mindful of the colony. <laughs> There's a lot of times that a traitor card... What? That food is worth two. What do you know? We already did it. Hooray. But let's see. And saying that then, maybe I should hurt, quickly check these two just in case. Nope, they're both ones. So Ricardo. we had four food in there. I so... guess we did you shuffle these? Yep. Cool. Crisis has been averted. Hooray. I was trying... I was trying to be mindful of what could potentially happen if there was a traitor. Now I have to add so. the zombies. So luckily, each of these three barricades blocked the three zombies that came here. So these are... Oh, right. I can't delete cards because I'm not a, the host. So I'll just put these back in the barricade bag. And then I have to add a zombie to each of our locations. But because we have a barricade at mine, no zombie. Barricade at yours, no zombie. And now you got to roll a dice, or Scott, to see with your... Just one of these. Yeah. What'd you get? Yes. And add a zombie to a location good. if it's three or lower. So you are oh, fine. Okay. Woohoo! Oh, right cool. We get rid out. of the noise modifier. Now the round tracker, of course, goes down one. That was the first round complete. Okay. Now I pass the first player token, which means and that goes to the right. So whoever went last goes. Okay. So, so you go first now, Scott.